Hello, it's Foo Baba. I'm outside of Palmyra, New York, in the Sacred Grove. And I'm going to share with you today a true story about Joseph Smith. And we read from Joseph Smith history, starting with verse 11. While I was laboring under the extreme difficulties caused by the contest of these parties of religion, religionists, I was one day reading the Epistle of James, first chapter and fifth verse, which reads, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Never did any passage of Scripture come with more power to the heart of man than this did at this time to mine. It seemed to enter with great force and to every feeling of my heart. I reflected on it again and again knowing that if any person needed wisdom from God, I did. For how to act, I did not know. And unless I could get more wisdom than I had, I would never know. For the teachers of religion of the different sects understood the same passage of Scripture so differently as to destroy all confidence and settling the question by an appeal to the Bible. At length I came to the conclusion that I must either remain in darkness and confusion or else I must do as James directs, that is, ask of God. I at length came to the determination to ask of God, concluding that if He gave wisdom to them that lacked wisdom, and would give liberally and not upbraid, I might venture. So in accordance with this, my determination to ask of God, I retired to the woods to make the attempt. It was on the morning of a beautiful clear day, early in the spring of 1800 and in 20. It was the first time in my life that I had made such an attempt, for amidst all my anxieties, I had never as yet made the attempt to pray vocally. After I had retired to the place where I had previously designed to go, having looked around me and finding myself alone, I kneeled down and began to offer up the desires of my heart to God. I had sincerely done so when immediately I was seized upon by some power which entirely overcame me and had such an astonishing influence over me as to bind my tongue so that I could not speak. Thick darkness gathered around me and it seemed to me for a time as if I were doomed to sudden destruction. But exerting all my power, powers to call upon God to deliver me out of the power of this enemy which had ceased upon me, and at the very moment when I was ready to sink into despair and abandon myself to destruction, not to an imaginary rain, ruin, but to the power of some actual being from the unusual world who had such marvelous power as I never before felt in any being. Just at this moment of great alarm, I saw a pillar of light exactly over my head above the brightness of the sun, which descended gradually until it fell upon me. It no sooner appeared than I found myself delivered from the enemy, which held me bound. When the light rested upon me, I saw two personages whose brightness and glory defile all description.
standing above me in the air, one of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, This is my beloved son, hear him. I am humbled and honored to be able to be here at the Sacred Grove and to have shared this true story, the account of Joseph Smith. I know without a shadow of a doubt that this is a marvelous work and wonder, that the gospel of Jesus Christ is true. And if any of you lack wisdom, let you ask of God. I love you, and I'm thankful to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He lives from the Sacred Grove. Goodbye. God be with you till we meet again.